What's up everybody, it's Bucky and welcome to your fifth tutorial on how to build a computer. And in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to pick out RAM, what RAM is, and what RAM does. So uh, first thing I want to tell you guys, what RAM actually stands for just because I always do. RAM, just like the animal, stands for Random Access Memory. And the job of RAM in your computer, because every component has a job, RAM's job is to load programs and it also is the memory used when your programs are running. So in case you guys are thinking, alright, I know what the memory is in my computer already, it's called the hard drive. Well actually, your hard drive can be used for this, but the benefits of RAM is that it's much, much faster than your hard drive. So therefore, the more RAM you have in your computer, the more programs you're going to be able to run at the same time. And therefore, also, the more RAM you have in your computer, the faster your computer is going to be, and more likely, more expensive your computer is going to be. But it's worth it. And another thing I want to talk to you guys about, before you guys just start buying RAM and tossing it in your computer, you need to make sure that your motherboard is compatible with your RAM. And to do this, you need to check a couple things first. The first, most important thing, is the style of RAM. Now, RAM comes in many different styles, just like many other parts of your computer. Um, there's three major styles of RAM. First, you got your DDR. And DDR stands for Double Data Rate. And it got this name because it was double the rate of the old type of RAM that it replaced, and that's SD RAM. Uh, you don't need to know that, but just in case you did. There's also DDR2 RAM, and this got its name because it's twice as fast of DDR RAM. And there's also DDR3 RAM, and this is even faster than everything. Um, I usually use DDR2 RAM just because it's a nice median. It's, uh, if you put enough RAM in your computer, it's, trust me, it's more than you ever need. Uh, another spec of RAM that you need to make sure when choosing it is the pin count. And if you take a look at a stick of RAM, you'll notice that there are gold teeth on one of the sides of it. This, these are the pins of the RAM. Now, it doesn't really have anything to do with performance, but you need to make sure that the number of pins on your RAM is the same as the number of pins in your motherboard, just so it can fit in.